next, it's Candace and Anthony with a rocker from the Veronicas. Fun, huh? It's Buffet Night on It Takes Two, which is our couples singing numbers from the genres that they haven't actually tackled yet. So we get a taste of a little bit of everything, which is always nice. And now to a beach babe who's got her eyes on the prize. The one thing we always look forward to from Candice and Anthony is finding out what's coming next. Now, they always surprise us, but I've run the diagnostics and they finished fourth every week bar one. So with only five people left in this competition, it's do or die tonight. Last week, Candice's performance in disco I thought was really, really good. She captured what disco is all about, having fun and getting out there and being a diva. That had great energy. It was a knockout kind of performance, but it's the vocals that are now starting to let you down. Work on your strength, work on your pitch. Vocally, we know you do have a little bit of an edge there that's a problem, but it was great. Disco can sometimes seem really easy just watching it and listening to it, but it's quite intricate and, you know, you have to be dead smack on it to actually work. Anyway. This week we're doing Hook Me Up by the Veronicas, so it should be Hook. like that. Yeah. I feel like throwing out everything I wear. I'm you know that Hook Me Up don't over push it because you're going to go out of tune. Okay. This week I want to prove to them that you can nail it on the night because you know, throughout rehearsals and through vocal workshops and leading up to that night when we do our run throughs, you nail it. Usually this is when my nerves start to kick in. I've been pretty calm and relaxed all week. It's just Tuesday. Showtime. Yeah, showtime. Showtime, Sometimes. the heart goes boo. And, um, How's it go? Boo, yeah, and my yeah, mouth right. follows. <laughs> it just takes two. And who doesn't love the Veronicas? They're just a couple of young Aussies with number one hits on their hands and taking on a hook me up. It's our youngest in the competition, Candice and Anthony. So in between, I'm sick of all my friends Girls can be so mean, I feel like throwing out Everything I wear, it's starting over new Cause I'm not even there Sometimes, I wanna get away someplace But I don't wanna stay too late Sometimes, I need a brand new day Try it in Gonna find a way, nothing left to say. You look like a couple of little lovers. Um, I think half of our audience has had a heart attack. You look amazing. That's a, uh, a big number. It is, or little number. <laughs> I, I bet the song was a big number. My apologies. Yeah, no, it was. You, uh, you took some, some cri criticism away from, uh, from the performance last week. I know yeah. that they said to, to you that your vocal work needed some, some mm -hmm. instruction. What did you do with that advice? Well, I took it all in and I just practiced extra hard and, you know, just always had it at the back of my mind thinking, you know, you've got to be on tune and, and everything else. And so I had, did have pitch issues, so hopefully I sorted them out this week. We, as we said a little earlier, finished fourth so many times. What are you yeah. going to do to try and coach you to the top of the leaderboard and the run home? You know, I just wanted to get out each week and have fun and obviously not take it, you know, obviously it's a serious thing, but not take it too serious and not overthink it and just get out there and do your thing. And, 
it's about entertaining. So, you know, I can only push her so much. I think she's doing a great job. So, Aww. yeah. Well, a woman who produces a lot of entertainment is Amanda Feldman. You are doing a great job, but I don't want to comment on your vocals tonight. I want to talk about your performance. You, you ended up looking like one of the Austin Powers fembots to me. You were just far too robotic. Mm -hmm. I want you to be really careful with how much work you give yourself to do in terms of the blocking and the vocals. Mm -hmm. Next week, can we see as one of your numbers a really still performance? Yep. Okay. Ross. Well, uh, we're on a roll tonight. That's the f third straight great song choice of the night. I mean, I love the Veronica's, and Hook Me Up, I think, is perfect for the best part of your voice, which is when it's really on, it's got this really engaging, you know, girl, light, pop, rock sound. And uh, thumbs up for that, and you look incredible. Thank you. Marina. You do look incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it's always great fun, and the strength of your performance is your energy, and so don't lose that sense of fun. There's still a few pitch issues oh. there, but I always love what you do. Thank you. James. Yeah, look, there's a... There's a really great contemporary energy to, with what you're doing, an excellent raunch. Top raunch tonight. <laughs> um, just, you know, I think you need to warm up that somewhat steely monotone. In your lower register, it's a bit sort of eh. You just need to warm that up and get a bit of a, a bit of a brato into it, a bit more warmth in there, and then we'll start seeing some big points for you. Okay, thanks. A little bit of homework, but yeah. still very encouraging responses. We're going to send you backstage. Okay. After a hard week slogging it out. Time to rest and enjoy the rest of tonight's performances and there's some great ones to come and you can support Candice and ensure that she goes on through to the next show by SMSing Candice to 191977 or by dialing 1902-557-11. Erica. Awesome. Hey, Mr. DJ. Hey, Mr. DJ. The manager <laughs> said you were a little bit robotic. Mm. How do you feel about that comment? Well, she was probably right. No, she saw it firsthand, so... She would know. She's got all the moves. <laughs> But, yeah. In your package, you also talked about how you've had to really battle with nerves, and that's something that I can relate to from my singing experience. Mm -hmm. So what have you done, Anthony, to prepare her in terms of, of, of taking care of those nerves? Have you given her any um, techniques? Just obviously not to overthink things. Yeah. And, you know, let yourself go for that minute and a half, two minutes, and not overanalyze things, and just give yourself to that stage and that audience, and... Have fun with it, really. Mm. Do, you, do you think you're doing it a little bit better now? I'm trying to. Each week I'm trying to um, loosen up as much as I can, but it's, with, it's tough. Yeah, with a song like Hook Me Up, it's such a heavily produced track, yeah. so to try and pull it off live, it's, um, it's quite difficult. So um, I think she did a great job. You sure did. Oh, okay, let's you. see if the judges hook us up with some high scores. Marina Pryor. Don't forget to have fun. Seven. James Valentine. Seven. Amanda Pellman. Seven. And Ross Wilson. A solid seven. Cool. Oh, nice top last week. <laughs> oh, almost. Don't worry about that. Okay, it's time for us to check out the Miss and Jewel's Halftime Leaderboard. In the lead, we have Virginia and Ian on 38. Julia and David are on 35, and Candace and Anthony are on 28. That's pretty good. And we've got two more couples left to go, so the competition <laughs> is far from over. Stop it. <laughs> it sure is.